Hello friends, welcome to Health Insights Plus. I'm here to guide you through the world of HIV tests, what they are, how they work, and why they matter for your health. Let's start with the most common type, the antibody test. Whenever HIV enters someone's body, the immune system responds by making special proteins called antibodies. These tests search for those antibodies in your blood or even your saliva. There are different formats, like the ELISA lab test and the rapid test, which just needs a finger prick or even an oral swab and gives results in about 20 minutes. But here's something important. Our bodies take some time to make enough antibodies to detect. Usually it takes between 3 and 12 weeks after infection. This period is called the window period. If you test too soon, your result might show negative even if you have the virus. So, timing is everything. Now let's talk about the antigen-antibody combination test, also called the fourth generation test. This test looks for two things. First, the antibodies your body makes, and second, the P24 antigen, which is actually a part of the HIV virus itself. The P24 antigen appears in the blood even earlier than antibodies, usually within two to six weeks after infection. That means this test can catch HIV sooner than antibody-only tests. That's why nowadays doctors prefer this fourth-generation test for early and accurate results. Next, there's the nucleic acid test, or NAT, sometimes called the PCR test. This one's different because it searches for the actual genetic material of the virus called RNA in your blood. It's very sensitive and can detect HIV as early as one to four weeks after exposure, but because it's expensive, it's not used for regular screening. Doctors recommend it only if you've recently had a high-risk exposure or if you are showing early signs of HIV infection. Now, what happens if your initial test is positive? The lab will always do a confirmatory test to be sure. In the past, the Western blot was common, but now more accurate immunoassay tests are used. This careful double-checking is done so you can trust your result. So friends, to sum up, there are four main types of HIV tests. Antibody tests, fourth-generation combo tests, NAT or PCR tests, and confirmatory tests. If you think you may have been exposed to HIV, don't wait. Get tested as early as possible. The sooner HIV is detected, the sooner you can start treatment and live a healthier life. If you found this information helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to Health Insights, plus for more health tips. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.